In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to expose an existing API or even create a new one and use Zuplo to expose it to ChatGPT as a plugin. Um, in order to do this, there's a couple of things we've got to do. We need a, a, an endpoint at a well-known URL on a domain to serve a manifest file. We need an open API document and Zuplo is natively powered by open API, so that's going to be very easy. And obviously I need some API. I created a demo API for this, just a silly API that allows me to, to check the score and players on a tennis court in a tennis club. I actually created that using Zuplo and ChatGPT in under five minutes. So if you want to know how I did that, there's another video. I'll put a link in, in the notes at the bottom. So go see how to create a demo API in under five minutes with ChatGPT and Zuplo. Now I want to show you how you can expose an API to ChatGPT as a plugin. So we're going to go to Zuplo. We're going to create a new project. Um, I'm going to call this chat uh, GPT plugin. And what we'll do at first, once this, once this loads up in just a few seconds, is we're going to create a handler to serve that manifest file. So we'll do that by going into our routes file here and click add route. And the, the manifest must exist at a particular destination on the domain. So it's at this location, dot well known slash AI plugin dot JSON. Dot well known is kind of a commonly used best practice for, for well known locations on domains. It's where you'll often find JWKS um, uh, documents for um, JOT signatures, etc. And OpenAI have decided that's where they want to put their, their manifest file. So we've set up the route. Now we just need a way of serving up the manifest file. I'm going to just name this so I know what it's all about manifest for OpenAI. And we're going to use a custom function handler here. I'm going to create a new module called manifest and we're going to use that to actually create and serve the manifest file directly out of Zuplo. So I've got some code I created earlier. I'm just going to copy this over and replace this here and I'll explain what this is doing. So here is a simple JavaScript object that represents the manifest that OpenAI needs. Um, it's very straightforward. You know, you need a name for humans, a name for models, um, for the for the LLM model, that is, uh, description for human, description for model, etc. Whether you're doing auth, we're not going to do that now. And critically, it needs to know where the open API specification that defines this API is going to be located. So you can see here it's at slash open API. Now, um, some other things in here, like a logo to use in the in the plugin, etc. And so now we're mostly done. All I'm going to do now is ask Zoopla to serve that file. Because it's an object I'm sending back, Zoopla will automatically add the content type application JSON and the um, and will serialize the object as JSON, and so we'll be done. So I'm just going to save that. Um, and once that's finished spinning, it's saved, and we can go and test it. So let's go over here. Let's hit test. And boom, there is my manifest in the right location, ready to be fed into ChatGPT. The other thing I need now is an actual way of serving the open API document. So confusing, open AI, open API. The open API document that is powering the gateway and that will tell um, ChatGPT how to understand what this API does. So I'm going to add another simple route. I'm going to call it open API. And I'm going to use our open API spec handler. And what that will do is it will serve this file on this URL as the as an open API file. So I'm going to save that. This is so crazy easy. And then if I go and test that now, then we should see that there you go. There is my um, open API document. So perfect. Um, the last thing I need is an actual API. Now, if you have an, uh, an open API document for your API and you have an API, then great. If you don't, again, check out how to create a, a demo API quickly using ChatGPT and Zuplo um, below. But I already have an open API document, so I'm actually going to import that. Here it's called tennis.openapi.json. And you'll notice it says, oh, I see these two operations that you already have. They're not in this incoming open API, so I'm just going to leave them there. I'm going to retain them. Um, but I'm going to create a new operation called courts court. And so that is the, the end point where I can check who's playing on different courts. So let's just pop back to our route designer. Here is our new operation. You can see it's imported all the metadata from the open API document. Um, so I'm just going to save my changes. What's super cool about this now is not only is this going to work with ChatGPT, but because I'm using Zuplo, I actually have sort of a fully featured developer portal. This is just spinning up for the first time, so it'll take a few seconds. It's very fast after that once everything's cached. Um, and so here is documentation for how to use my API. Look at that. Um, what the response looks like even has dark mode, so you get all this stuff for free. So that's just going to come because you're using you're using Zuplo. Now we're pretty much ready. I have everything I need to plug into ChatGPT, so let's go and give it a go. So if I go to ChatGPT now, 
you'll see here I got some uh, a plugin store. I want to develop my own plugin and it's asking me for the domain. So I'm going to use our working copy URL here. Normally you would use uh, not use working copy. You'd, you'd, you'd deploy your real Zuplo to a to a real domain, a custom domain. For for development purposes like this, though, it's absolutely fine to use your working copy. So that will then hit my domain. It will pull that manifest file down. It will pull the open API spec. It's validated them. It's happy with what we've got here. So it thinks it knows how to how to call this um, uh, this plugin. So I'm just going to say install for me. Continue install the plugin. And let's see. So I've got my plugin enabled here, and I'm going to say, "Hey, what is the score on court five? And now this will actually invoke my API. We'll get a response, and we'll then add that to the context of the conversation. So let's give it a second here. On court five, the current score is as follows: John has a score of three, and Jane has a score of sixteen. It looks like Jane is currently leading the match. Who do you think will win? Let's see just how smart ChatGPT is. Oh, he's not very good at predicting sports, which is a shame because if it was, I'd be using it for other purposes. Anyway, that's how easy it is to add um, uh, your API to ChatGPT as a plugin using Zuplo. Also, check out that demo below on how to create a demo API in under five minutes. Thanks.